Welcome back, Dweebets and Dweeblets. It's me and Casey. Hi. I'm here. So, I got some parts to work on my Jay-Z. So, uh, we're going to buttons up some loose ends and uh, probably not get anything done because I never worked on a Jay-Z. So, this is what I got. Power distribution block, you want to do this? lower radiator hose, and a thermostat. So, this side should pretty much almost be done. If you guys don't know, I got this adapter for the thermostat water neck to be pointed down from Powerhouse Racing. They also sell this lower radiator hose that fits, and hopefully it will, but, you know, nothing ever works with us. Stage so, it's probably right going to be bad. Right there on the top of the radiator. What? Mount, mount, mount your block right there. Right here? Top of the radiator. Right there. That's where it's going. Yep. And thermostat. Yeah, and then there's just a few other things. Like I found this, this will probably work, right? So I'm just gonna run this hose for the upper. And yeah, we're just gonna move forward from there. All right, so this side's pretty much complete. Um, I got the thermostat in and that lower radiator neck hose, whatever. Only issue with this is that it was a little bit too long for my application. And it goes underneath, in between the uh, sway bar right here. So what was happening is it was kind of binding up and crunching together. So all I did is I just took off about an inch off of it and um, it fits perfect actually. So something actually was easy for once Whoa. with this build. Now I am probably just gonna button up, put my exhaust back on the side potentially, but uh, I gotta deal with this crazy mess of wires that I'm gonna bolt up and make a little bit cleaner. We're gonna put this on and then we'll probably move towards the power distribution block and figure out some of the wiring and issues on this side of the motor. So this is one of the issues that I have and it's completely my fault. I ordered the wrong alternator plug or the wrong alternator, vice versa, I don't know. Damn right, it. it's your fault. It is my fault and that's why I'm telling them. So anyway, uh, yeah, I uh, either I got the wrong alternator slash I ordered the wrong plug. I mean, it's I, I've been saving up parts for like over a year and a half now. So wiring specialties is so cool that you can literally just buy pins and rewire it or buy just the housing or whatever. So nonetheless, you know, this, this fits that and I'm gonna take that off and solder this on, so. All right, and then we have our new pin connector and I just put a full piece of shrink tube over the little shrink tube ones. Um, and yeah, and that just plugs in like so. We're back in the shop today. What I'm gonna be doing with my rusty Z car is I'm probably gonna put a little plate right here. So good old Justy boy gave me some good old advice and I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard, cut it out, put it in there, mock it up, and I'm probably working with my favorite metal, aluminum. Um, um. That stuff, it fucking sucks. I hate it. So anyway, we're going to work with aluminum and probably make a plate for that. Listen here. I'm in no fucking state for advice, all right? Shit your shit out of luck, buddy. So I'm all on my own today because Justin's uh, a drug addict. <laughs> he's a drug addict. Anyway, we're gonna do that. Probably uh, go to the power distribution block, maybe, and uh, and uh, do that. So we're gonna do stuff. All right guys, so this is kind of the rough shape that I'm going for. I might go a little bit lower, just to kind of block this off. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to prevent heat going to my fuel pressure regulator. Also, if there's any leaks or anything that happen, since my exhaust is gonna be so close to all this, I don't want to start a fire. So we're just taking precautions and making cool stuff out of aluminum. So anyway, um, yeah, so this piece right here, I'm gonna make two separate pieces. There's gonna be this one right here that's gonna go right onto the firewall. And then, oops, sorry, putting my fingers in the camera. This one is gonna be a separate piece that's gonna fold and we have a bender and I'm just gonna attach it to right here since I already have 
holes to screw into. So we're probably gonna bend this up and do test number one. So I have the piece kind of mocked up. This is the side that I have all this. These little dotted lines are gonna be the bends. I was trying to debate though, if I want this bend to be on the inside or the outside, just to say it'll look a little bit more professional if I bend it to the inside. So we're gonna go with that, roll with it. I'm gonna make this bend real quick, pre-drill it, get it in there, and then bend the other side. I probably won't time-lapse that, but then I'll time wrap, time, oh my God. I cannot think today. I'll, I will I will time lapse the rest of the stuff, so stay tuned. Okay guys, okay, here is my rough shape. So I have this bent, I have it drilled into the firewall. It goes around this way. I have a little cutout for my fuel lines. Down here is the bottom for the hard lines of the fuel. Right now I'm cutting out this little piece. This is where like my wires are gonna come through. And instead of doing this at a 90 or building another plate, we did this at a 45 and we're gonna take another plate and kind of finish off this section. So it's still gonna be the two, two sections. I just did a 45 instead of a 90, just give it a little bit more of a clean look uh, once it's in there, so. I'm gonna cut out this and we're gonna refit it again and hopefully start working on the next piece. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I just have this barely kind of screwed in. No so, they all hate me. I don't have any Not friends. True. Not a single word of that is true. I love you, Sage, and you don't need to ask questions about it. That's so, so, I have this bent up, blah, 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 drilled in. This is at a 45, like we were talking about earlier. And so now I'm gonna take more cardboard and mock up a new piece for this side since I'm going with a different design from the original. This is my first cut piece, so that worked out great. I love it when things work the first time. Uh, so we're gonna mock up this with a piece of cardboard. Just gonna make kind of like a triangle piece with another, with another bend to, to bolt up right here, so. So this is the semi-finished product. We got it all done in one shot. We had a little bit of trouble with the, this piece right here as far as getting the angle correct so it actually fit. We also drilled these holes. They're a little bit off and then this bolt actually snapped off in. So I went ahead and just riveted this together just like how I did with this. This is all kind of one solid piece now. I'm gonna gold wrap whatever this whole piece and it's gonna look a lot cleaner. That was kind of the project for today and that'll do it for this episode. Appreciate this man's help right here. Yeah, smartest guy I know. Fuck off. I appreciate Aaron for the support. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate Casey for learning how to skateboard and kickflip. Whoa! <laughs> Holy <there>. shit! <laughs> Dude, I just tried to cut this and it went like this. <laughs> Jesus. It's like stepping on a rake. Right, so yeah. Uh, What's next? I don't know, power distribution block. I still have to rewire all that. I got my uh, dipstick in, so that fit. Hopefully it will with my intake on. Uh, and we will see you on the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe.
And and uh Hey, what do they need to do? Like and subscribe. Oh. Okay. Jesus. All right, so that does it up for this episode. We're gonna work some more on the Jay-Z on the next one. Power block, maybe. Power distribution block. Power block. Power block. Power block. Power block. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Comment about uh, how I should run my, my uh, wastegate and exhaust and all that. And uh, we'll see you next time.